Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts, and today I thought I'd just answer one of the questions there I saw in the comments from last night. It's uh, about oak. Uh, I got two questions in. Um, one one uh, good subscriber who'd been here for a long time from the UK um, said he was out yesterday and uh, he cut some, some oak and... Uh, I was just saying to him, like, it's just a wee tad early to be kind of just cutting yet. We're almost upon the kind of cutting season, but, like, it still hasn't got, like, cold enough um, yet that all the leaves are falling off. Probably, like, within the next two weeks, two, three weeks, it'll start to be more ideal. You just have to give it a little bit longer because when it gets really cold and the leaves are coming off, you want all the sap to kind of retreat into the roots. And what this does and helps is that when you're seasoning the wood it helps it to season better and it takes a little bit um, longer if you cut it earlier so if you're cutting it now you know it can add an extra six months to a year onto the, the the process of trying to, uh, to to season it so that's why just wait three weeks because you'll save yourself six months or a year there and uh, so yeah well, regarding oak um, oak is a great wood oak is a heavy wood it's a dense wood um similar in in that regard to uh to black thorn um like uh, oak shillelaghs were used um oak is a wood associated with with stick fighting as well and um, there's plenty of oak around ireland and uh so it has been used for uh for for many years um oak is uh like the you know oak was used for for many purposes because it was strong and like an oak tree grows massive so it had many uses unlike blackthorn which is more like a kind of thorny bush and then you look for thin straight pieces that make great walking sticks and and uh and shillelaghs and cudgels and things oak grows like a mad thing it, it grows quite quite big um so like if you're cutting it you'd have to try to get it like a branch or an oak that was you know maybe like a few years old and you can kind of pull it up from the root or something like that but like um here in ireland there's a lot of deers and when the oak trees are coming up literally the deers eat them they just rip them out of the ground root and all and, and eat them up so it's kind of hard enough to find good oak that will make a good hiking stick or walking stick because you have to catch it at the kind of right age um, that the the length and the thickness of the branches and, and everything kind of work out pretty well. So you kind of like, you know, it's usually the older oak trees, which there's a lot of in Ireland, are not suitable because they're quite big and thick and, uh, you know, you'd need uh, some kind of mad machine or, or a few people to try to cut down an oak tree. and. You know, I think you could probably get into trouble as well because it'd be <laughs> be noticed to missing. Uh, the big big oak is gone, but uh, I do like the woods. It's it's lovely, and every now and again, I I get get a piece of oak. Um, usually, I kind of have to like you know take the bark off and like uh do, you know sand it down a a good bit because usually the pieces I get might be a bit thicker than than are normal for a um for a walking stick. Um, you know, you can you can use like oak all the time it's it's a it's a great wood um so yeah sorry to get back to question uh, once you cut it like uh just seal the ends um you know just you can use any paint or any sealer or anything because you just like um, remember when you're cutting it as well to cut it longer than you imagine a handle so like if there's a big piece here and you're thinking of putting a handle then cut it a bit further over because just in case it cracks or anything but what I found with, with oak is that um, it takes a bit long to season, but it doesn't seem to crack that much when you're seizing it. So it actually is a pretty good wood. Um, like some other woods you'd have, they'd be cracking like crazy or like the really old, old backthorn bushes, like they, they'll always crack as they're seasoning. Like if, if it's quite quite an old piece of um, uh, blackthorn that you've you've cut. Um, so yeah, I have, I've used uh, oak and a lot of what I do with blackthorn would apply to to oak as well, given that they have share some similar properties, like in terms of tight grain, heavy dense wood. They need longer to do. Uh, with oak, is is quite quite a quite a, a picture, a beautiful wood. Like you know, when you when you see the grain, and uh, you know, it, it's it's used for oak flooring. It's used for different things. Oak is is beautiful. Um, blackthorn is more like the thorns and the character and the strength and uh, but you know as opposed to the bare 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 bones of the wood uh, oak would be much much kind of a you know nicer 
in terms of uh, aesthetically kind of looking at that's why it's called more used for in houses and and different things as well um so yeah i just thought you just a quick video there just kind of going through oak uh, oak shillelaghs and uh you know any questions you put in the comments i'll probably just try to make a video now because it's a bit a bit easier just kind of sit down have a little talk and then uh, i'm just about to get into my work today i just have to decide what tasks to do first uh usually i just kind of start the day by just catching up my messages checking my store uh, answering the same questions that that's you know you'd get the whole time like uh, there's always about like top 10 frequently asked questions i get make i must make a video actually on that frequently asked questions and uh it might be handy then i can just give the link to people then of, of those videos so look thanks for watching and uh thanks for supporting the channel like it's it's good now because booking or sorry orders have started to pick up again this week because for some reason in september whew, bookings went way down that was really unusual and you were like, oh, what's going on here? But but luckily now this week they started to pick up again. So hopefully anyway, like, you know, the, the, the Christmas run online is, is pretty good. I'm counting on it this year to, to get me through get me through the uh, early next year, which uh, my tourist shop probably won't do much next year. So a good, good Christmas is on the card. So if you're watching this, keep me in mind for Christmas presents. Uh, you know, buy all your Christmas presents here. Um, I'll be very happy. It's going to a good cause. Um, you know, you're supporting Irish crafts, you're, you know, the more you guys buy with me over the Christmas run, it'll help me going into 2021, which is not going to be an easy year um, for, for all small businesses like myself. But like, um, I think like, you know, as, as long as even I can just make 60% of, of what I made this year, I'll still still be able to pull through a year. So uh, and I, I have my overheads and costs like down, I'm kind of a one man show. So I kind of uh, keep things the type ship and I pretty much do everything from cutting to email to packing to you know i i can't really take on anyone to to uh to help me because they'll you know there's only a really enough salary for kind of one person in this profession at the moment um but uh yeah that's that's kind of a day in the life of my ramblings look thanks for watching anyway and uh, keep supporting the channel bye bye